Hi, today we're going to talk about black hat SEO, the bad stuff, because I regularly come across clients who have had some of this done and they may not even realize. I'm Vicki Wu, your marketing guru, and hopefully you'll take this quick coffee break and learn how you can not really protect yourself against this, but find out if it has happened and regularly review your site. And don't forget, if you don't know how to do this, we have very affordable services that can help you take care of this problem if you have it. First, I want to make sure you understand that I never, ever, ever recommend any black hat SEO tactics. If you are constantly doing things from a good place, trying to make it convenient for your prospects and clients, and ways that will be helpful to them and provide them information that they need, you'll probably be okay. But sometimes we can't control it. If you've had your website any length of time, a year or more, or someone else had the site before you, and it doesn't have to be the same hosting, it's the same URL. That's really important because sometimes you can buy URLs that someone else had and have released and they may have built up some black hat SEO tactics that could then negatively impact your site. So it's always good to do this kind of review. I do this about quarterly. I do it initially and then about quarterly with the clients that were helping with their search engine optimization. I run this report and as needed, do some checking of it. The two most common things I see occur are either former staff or a contractor did some of these things. And maybe at the time, a few years ago, it was recommended as, you know, kind of a shady or gray area of how you could build some, you know, SEO for your site. But if they were kind of questionable tactics then, they are definitely ones that will ding you now. Another thing can be a competitor who wants to harm your search results and harm your business could have done some of this themselves or paid someone to do it. It's kind of, I mean, that's nasty and tacky, but I have seen it happen to clients. So this is why it's so important to regularly do this check for your SEO. The bad thing is you can buy these services online and they're not always listed. Sometimes they're flat out listed as black hat SEO. But not always. You might see it sometimes as backlink building. And if you don't know that the person who's doing it is committed to helping you build those backlinks on highly reputable sites, don't go there. I see backlink building on Fiverr all the time. And unless I have already worked with that particular contractor or I would message them maybe and ask them, you know, what kind of sites are you putting me on? I, I wouldn't even think about it or consider it. And even if I did consider it, I know how a lot of them are doing it and it's posting links on sites that they own. And not that that can't be slightly helpful if their reputable sites have a good DA ranking. But if it's really not in your niche, if it's completely unrelated to what you do, it's really not going to benefit you. So you've paid money to build backlinks, even though they're not black hat backlinks, they're also not beneficial. So you have to be really careful. Another thing I've seen is people who ask for link trades. Hey, if you put a link on your site, you know, for me, I'll put a link on my site for you. If it's some kind of coordinated product or service that makes sense for you to share a link with, that might be a good option. 
But don't forget that they can also remove the link that they gave you at any time and you're still giving them a link. So you also, again, it's about knowing the person that you're working with on the other end of that agreement. Link farms are a big one that I see, especially with if it's a competitor trying to damage you and do some black hat SEO. Link farms, Google hates those. If it finds you on those, it will, you know, start giving you small penalties that can add up. And a lot of them are foreign, so they're easy to find. And there's also some people that offer small, inexpensive and ad niche. They offer to let you advertise on their site and it's a really good price and really affordable and so you, you're tempted to do it, but you don't get a real ad. All you get is one of those links. And again, it's a site that doesn't have anything to do with your product or your service remotely. And if they're not careful on how they do it, it can also damage your site. So you want to be careful with that too. If it's not a normal type of banner ad or one of those that you're used to seeing and it's literally just a hyperlink, I would not suggest you go there either. And again, some of these things could have already happened if you have used, you know, a staff who used to be there or you used to use a contractor. One of my clients that I'm going through cleaning up some of their backlinks right now, one of the backlinks that I was researching when I clicked on it had a picture of a guy in his name and it said something, you know, oh, I, I'm a blah, 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 I forget what the job title was. It was nothing to do with SEO, who sometimes, you know, optimizes for, and it had a link to my client's website. And it's not so much that that is bad, because if that's a contractor who used to work on them and, you know, showing off a client or a link, that's understandable, but it was the way it was written was unnatural and it was on a page that there was like nothing else on the page and it wasn't his website and it was just really weird. There were a lot of red flags on it. So that's one that I marked that it probably needs to be removed because it just didn't make sense. And always go with your gut. If you're thinking it doesn't make sense, it doesn't. So what we always do is run a report of backlinks. There's several different places you can get these types of reports. And I usually run different ones because at different times, the different, you know, spiders that run these type of things can find different backlinks. Maybe it wasn't in their index, this other site that the link is on wasn't in their index at one point and now it is. So I always run different ones, several places you can do it. And also, I always check Google Search Console regularly just to review it. Sometimes, you know, it's not looking at anything in particular. But on this particular client that I mentioned, um, that I found that, you know, kind of odd, where a guy said he was working on their SEO years ago, I noticed last month a big jump in their 404 errors page not found and as google already kind of blocked those off and ignored them because it was so unnatural it was a jump from you know maybe 20 backlinks coming in that the page wasn't found which you can fix those and this jumped to like 30,000 so that type of thing is a huge red flag and it also coincided with something else that happened on the back end of their website. So we think someone was actually, you know, attacking their site and doing some black hat stuff against them, which is why we're really checking it. theirs extremely closely. I ran multiple backlink reports for them. So, you know, also if you see that kind of weird thing happening in your search console, you want to be aware of that. But I want to show you, I ran my own report again this morning, 
for my site so you should be able to see it let me let me shrink this page a little bit bear with me one second so that you can it just doesn't it's a little bit testier than I am okay all right there we go so I just ran the backlinks put them all in a spreadsheet so that I could manipulate them I like to color code mine um, and, and if it's if I go through and it's a bunch of backlinks that I know are okay I move them so the first thing I'm gonna do is any standard sites like Yelp or Google I know they're gonna be okay and I don't even need to test them this one here at the top actually these two if you note they are internal links within my website linking from one page to another so I know those are okay I don't need to check those other things that might probably be okay and I would not check them unless they were the only things and I noticed some weird things happening on the back end of you know Google search console or Bing search console but likely okay would be local sites such as a city or county government page maybe a nonprofit you support has linked to you at one point and they're showing up those are probably okay you kind of can tell some of those yeah I'm not concerned about that link I'm not gonna check it right now especially if you have issues going on you want to check the things that are making you kind of go what and make sure they're okay I always check things like Blogspot, Blogger, Tumblr, those other people's blogs because sometimes those types of sites are what these black hat SEO people are using to put your link on. Or some of those questionable ad practices might be on those types of sites. So I always check them unless it's somebody I directly know that has a blogspot.com address and I look at the name and, oh Vicki Wu oh yeah I know her she probably did give me a backlink I'm not gonna check it right now I may go back later and just make sure it looks okay but if I'm in the middle of a black hat bad backlink crisis I'm gonna skip it till later anything with a foreign site so mine as you can see right here and it's going to open it because I clicked dot us a dot us is okay you have to have a United States address to get a dot us domain but if I saw dot ru which is Russia um, dot cn China some of these other weird endings might give me cause for concern a lot of the non the country domain ends there's a lot of general ones now that you can find like um, I have one website that ends with dot solutions not really those type but we're talking the foreign country ones because a lot of bad backlink farms were set up on those types of domains in the past and so those always give me pause especially if I don't do business in that country and then anything that it looks like in either their URL or in the article that's linked that deals with Viagra, drugs, sex, anything else that maybe your business isn't comfortable and doesn't want to be associated with, maybe gambling. I always check those. Those are always a red flag. Literally what you have to do then is the ones that you have question of as you're scanning down the list, you need to manually visit the link it's time intensive but right here in this report I ran duplicates uh, the the link so both of these are the same link fit bottom girls I kind of remember fit bottom girls but I don't remember exactly why but I need to check that so I'm just gonna click on it let it open Oh, Bob Harper. Okay, I remember. Yeah, I like Bob Harper. 
I remember he had a heart attack. Really quick way, I'm just going to use the find in my browser. And since I know my website address has my name, which is spelled different, I'm going to search and you see right there it finds it. I made a comment on this article. The comment had you fill in your website, so I did. So it's finding this as a backlink. I'm okay with this. I don't mind a backlink from a site talking about Bob Harder, Harper's um, you know, heart attack that he had. I'm okay with that one. So I'm gonna let it go. And I'm I, either I'm gonna color cut it green that it's okay in case I go back later and don't remember where I left off. Or I might just leave it blank. But since I like to be able to go back and have no question about where I left off, we're gonna do it that way. So these here are all green. Oh wait, I missed one. Not not going nowhere. Not going nowhere. And it's a blog spot. I'm not gonna directly rule it out, but I'm not sure I remember that one. So I'm going to visit it. Okay, interview with musician Ed Roman. We're gonna do the same thing on this page. We're gonna do a find and we're gonna search for because I know my URL. Oh, right there, interview with Vicky Roo. Woo. Okay. This one's okay because I remember that interview and it's great that it's backlinked to my site. So we can mark that one green. We're good to go. Let's scroll through and find a couple others. Top to top producer podcast, I recognize those. Crazy Mind, I recognize. What is this one? 98 plus Facebook business page template sketch freebie download free. That sounds a little questionable. And remember this particular report has uh, two links for each one. Luray page free press. I have no idea what this is, so I'm going to check it. If you ever come across one of these, and it does something questionable. <laughs> My Excel is not liking that. We're gonna give it a second to think. If you ever pull up a page and a warning comes up about security on the page, or you know this page may be trying to steal your identity, this page may have hackers, you close that out, out, you don't want to visit further. It'll, usually most browsers will give you a screen kind of blocking it and it'll have a link somewhere way down at the bottom that you can proceed if you choose to, but I do not recommend that you do that. So just close the page out and don't continue. In this case, the page is not opening, it's taking too long, it's probably something that doesn't exist anymore, and since I think it looks a bit questionable, I'm marking this one red, it will be one I disavow. And I tested this one as well a second ago offline, and it is the same. I'm going to assume Lexus Dockrat. You can see Facebook page layout template. I'm just going to go ahead and flag all of those since they all have that same Facebook, Facebook business template and they're kind of weird links. I'm just going to skip all of those. Here's another look. There's, there's three more right there. I am flagging all of these. I don't even need to check. Here's another one. All right, here's two that I want to check. Let's 
cannabis stock. I ha I know this one is okay because I actually signed up to offer websites if needed, but I'm going to check it anyway just to verify. This one is okay because I remember doing this. So we are going to mark this one green. And here's another one, two here in a row. Let me go ahead and do both of these. This one is, okay, for one thing it has another language on it, which isn't necessarily bad. I'm going to do that same find, search my name. Okay, it has a link. Nothing's bad with the link. Social media marketing. This one's kind of questionable, but on today's thing, I can't decide. So. I might want to search it later. I'm going to turn it orange. Let's check this one again, and then we'll unable to open. So I know right there that I can have that one removed. So that just kind of gives you an idea of going through and here's three more right there. Things that I may want to disavow these questionable ones that are having problems open. I did not ask any of these people, not that I mind people backlinking, but not when it is questionable like that. And these are probably site scrapers that are scraping topics and just pulling websites in that have related topics, which isn't necessarily bad, but isn't necessarily what I want either. One more, since it looks illustrative today. I haven't seen them yet. They don't have anything really weird. Let's try it just as one last one, just so you can get a really good idea of the type of thing I look for. This one is kind of questionable. And right there is why we want to disavow this one because it has spyware on their site. I didn't click anywhere, so I, you know, I, I didn't infect my site with it, but that will be one we disavow as well. I'm gonna save that. So again, you want to look if it's about services similar to what you have. In the case of if this illustrative today, one that I just marked red, was showing some examples of different real estate flyers, which is what the topic says it is, and I was on there, that might be cool. But in this case, it's a site that has some malware on it and I don't want to be linked. After I gather all this up, I'm going to pull all of the red links, and I'm not going to pay attention to this column on the report I ran here. It shows you the how the link on the page reads. I'm not going to pay attention to that column. Most of the reports I run only give you the backlink. So I'm going to pull all the red ones out and put them in their own file. And then there's a very specific process you follow to submit disavow links. They have to be noted in a certain way in the file. In most cases, they want you to have tried contacting the owner of the page and requesting them to remove the link. In the cases of these ones that aren't pulling up and they don't exist anymore, obviously you can't do that. 
but they they don't want you to just submit a file of a bunch of links. They want to know that you have tried to have your link removed. So each service, I usually focus on Google and Bing at this point. They have a specific format that the file that you upload has to be in. And it's, it's not impossible to do yourself, but you need to follow the directions very, very carefully. And there's a second step to the process always. One of the clients I had been working with had submitted a disavow file that had about 15 or 17,000 URLs in it. They, they had gotten either hacked at one point or a contractor or employee that they had used had set up a bunch of bad backlinks on link farms and things like that, or a competitor did some black hat SEO. And you know what? You can be found. <laughs> Don't do that. They can track your IP address if you ever choose to do that. If you pay someone to do it, they can track that guy's IP address and he's going to roll over on you. So don't ever do that. But it had happened to them. They had submitted the file. But because they had never done step two of the process, which you get an email from Google or Bing telling you to complete step two, they had never done that. So it had never improved their search. As soon as we completed that disavow process and all of those bad backlinks were ignored by Google and we had Google re-index their site at that time also, their traffic went from, you know, flatline, this is the death of my business, and it immediately started shooting up. So it's really important to know your backlinks and to check them regularly. If you don't feel like you have the technical skill to do this, it is a service we can do for you. As I showed you, manually checking some of those links is time intensive. We kind of have a pretty good understanding of which links need to be looked at. You might have to look at more of them because you're not as familiar with what types of sites are red flags. Whereas over the years, we've gotten kind of good at scanning fairly quickly and being able to find the ones that are definitely, definitely a red flag that we need to get off there without even looking at the page. And then we know which ones that we need to visit and check what's on the page. So we can do it a little bit quicker than you. And we do provide kind of ad hoc SEO services as you need. So you can do it yourself, run the reports, manually do the checking, set up the disavow file very carefully. If it's not set to the right standard, it will be rejected. So just read the instructions and make sure you understand how to submit it. And then if you feel this is something you can't do, it is actually part of the SEO services. In an earlier video, I talked about the different stages of SEO services that we do. And while we do run an initial backlink report, Unless we find really big red flags, it's not always in the first stage of our process. And like I said, we do regularly run these at intervals, depending on how busy your site is. We may need to do it more often or less often. So it's usually in stage two to stage three that we really get into cleaning up the backlinks. And then in later stages, we start building you new additional good backlinks. If you have any questions about this whole black hat SEO thing. Remember, never do it. If you read a strategy and you're like, oh, that sounds good, too good to be true. Why aren't more people doing it this way? Probably means you need to skip it and never, ever, ever hire someone to do it the bad way for your site or for anyone else's site. Best advice I can give you today. Put your questions down below. We will answer them. And if you need anything, we're always here for you.